Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is performance tools. Means what are the various tools given by SAP to check the performance of our program. We'll go for simple example. We all know best performance practices means we should never use star in the query. We should never use the corresponding keyword. Fetching column sequence should be same as that of data dictionary sequence. We should never write the queries inside the loop. We should always, always apply parallel cursor whenever we have the nested loops. We should use binary search Whenever we are fetching data from foreign key tables, we should always, always check for not initial or size subbar C condition. We all know these are the best performance practices or guidelines which will always, always improve the performance. Now, simple thing. Suppose we are working in a project. And someone gave us the task that improve the performance of this program. This program is not giving the good performance. And just see if program has 20,000, 50,000 lines of code. If I will manually go to each and every line and check, okay, have they followed the best practice? Have they followed the best practice? Have they followed the best practice? So it will take so many days for me to just go to each and every part of the program. Manually, I will change the code. Manually, I will go to each and every line and check. And then I will change the code. Just see, it is a very time consuming process. But if with the help of tools, we will analyze that, yes, this part of the program is not giving the good performance. This part of the program is taking much time to give the result. So I will only, only focus on that area to improve the performance rather than manually going to each and every line of the code and checking that, okay, have we followed the best practice? Then we will change the code. Rather than doing the manual process, we should always, always use tools. Yes, after that we know, yes, that the best practice followed or not, based upon that, we will change the code. But always, always use tools to check the performance, which area of the program is taking much time to give the result so that we can simply, simply focus on that particular area and we will improve the performance of that particular area. Now, as a part of that, we will start with our first tool and our first tool is ST05. Now, what is ST05? ST05 is a performance trace transaction code. It is a transaction code or tool for performance trace, performance trace. With the help of this tool, we will check the performance of our SQL queries. See, I'm using the word SQL queries. SQL queries means whatever the select queries you have written in the program, with the help of this tool, we will check the performance of our SQL queries. Suppose we have a program and in the program, we have supposed 20 select query. So what we will do with the help of this tool, we will check the performance of those SQL queries and we will see, okay, which query is taking much time, which query is taking the so much time to give the result and we will focus on that query to improve the performance. Now, 
we will go for our first tool. We will see the practical of the same. Now I will go to ST05 transaction code. If I will go to ST05 transaction code, and you can see the title bar is itself performance trace transaction code ST05 performance trace. Now I will go for a program. You can take any program. It is totally your wish. Just go for the program in which you have at least two to three queries so that you can check. Yes, this query is taking much time. This query is taking this much time. Suppose I will go for ALV program. If you see this program, in this program, we have two SQL queries. We are fetching data from VBAK table. We are fetching data from VBAP table. So in this program, we have two select queries. Suppose this program is not giving the good performance. So we will go for ST05 performance tool transaction code. We will go for ST05. That is our performance trace transaction code. Performance trace transaction code. We will use this tool to check the performance of these two queries. How to go for that tool? You can go to ST05. Firstly, you can see this SQL trace checkbox is ticked. Simply, simply, firstly, activate the trace. So you can see we are getting the message SQL trace is activated and I activated the trace. This is my login ID for the SAP. After activating the trace, Simply, simply run your program for which program you want to check the performance of SQL queries. Now I am running this program. I will give some input. Suppose I am giving 44 to 45. I am executing. I got the output. Now when you run the program, yes, SQL queries system fetch data and just SQL queries based upon that we are fetching data from VBAK, VBAP table that code executed. Now you can simply, simply deactivate that trace because you run your program. So you can see all traces are switched off. Now we need to simply, simply display that trace. Now I will go for display trace. So firstly, we activated that trace. We run the program and now we deactivated that trace. So in between this, whatever we did, SAP will make a trace of that. SAP will capture that thing. Now, here you can go for the time criteria also. Suppose you activated the trace, you run the program, you do deactivated the trace, but you are displaying the trace after four to five hours. So in that case, you can go for filtration of time also because you know you run that program at that point of time so that it will show you the exact result itself. Suppose today is 15th August. I activated the trace. I run the program. I deactivated the trace. Suppose tomorrow I am displaying the trace. So in that case, because you run your program on 15th, so you need to put the date 15th because you want to display the trace of 15th. Yes. Now, I will simply, simply go for execute. Now you can see we are getting this much trace. Now what you need to do, just right click on your program name because we will filter our program. I will right click on the program. 
I will go for set filter because so many things are there. But we will analyze the performance of our SQL queries of the program. From the F4 help, choose your program. This is your program. This is the program which I run. This is the program. This is my program name. Now I will simply, simply select and I will go for OK. Have you seen? I am getting the result of my program only. So what is the summary of the video so far? Yes, in this video, we started with performance tools. It is very difficult to manually go to each and every line of code and just check have we followed the best programming practices or not? Have we followed the best performance guidelines or not? Yes. So rather than manually doing this, always, always use tools. With the help of tools, you can simply, simply go for that area which is taking much time because we need to focus on that area to improve the performance. So we started with our first performance tool that is our ST05 transaction code. ST05 is performance trace. It is for performance trace. With the help of this transaction code, we will check the performance of SQL queries. See, I'm specifically using the word SQL queries. So we simply, simply went to ST05 transaction code. We activated the trace. We run the program and then we deactivated the trace. After that, we display the trace. And after displaying the trace, we simply, simply put a filter on our program. Now in the next video, I will show you the timings i will show you the duration that which query is taking much which query is taking how much time and we will see have we followed the practices or not then now in the next video we will simply simply focus on the code that it is navigating to which particular portion of the code so that's it in this particular video thank you